A very good day to your people. My name is Mohit and guys, let me tell you, I was a Bode fan, having used both Stone 200 and both Stone 1000 speakers in the past. Both are excellent. Until I met with an online purchase called Bode Rockers 510. Why do I say that? Alas, the law of averages caught up with me. I thought an Amazon will only exchange it, not refund me as per policy. The instant I heard Boat Rockers 510, it felt like an instant downgrade. Bloody hell, I swore. What about all the positive reviews from thousands of people? From thousands of people and videos posted online, I thought. To prove myself wrong, I went from YouTube videos to Amazon Prime videos, hoping for better results, but nothing really changed. I will come back to the audio quality a little later. At the moment, let me first talk about other aspects. The Boat Rockers 510 is much more spongier and softer and hence more comfortable than the Boat Rockers 400. Though I found myself getting uncomfortable after every 20-30 minutes, I removed the ear cups for about 10-20 seconds to rub my ears to improve the circulation, feel better and put them back on. When I saw myself in the mirror, I thought, oh boy, they may not be very heavy, but they sure are very bulky. Also they can't be folded away like the Boat Rockers 400. They are also about 100 grams heavier than the Boat Rockers 400. But on the brighter side, they have the soft fox leather. A rubberized cushion on the headband that the boat rockers 400 lacks at 231 grams you still can't call the boat rockers fight and heavy by any standards <coughs> the boat rockers 510 is set in between boat rockers 400 and 600 boat rockers 500 is completely made of uh, plastic just like the Boat Rockers 400 but it's a little more comfortable to wear and the sound quality is also improved as compared to the Rockers 400. In this one, Boat uses 50mm drivers instead of 40mm. The build quality which is mainly very glossy plastic feels neither too cheap nor premium. All the controls like the isolated power button which also acts like a play pause button also acts like the call accept or end button and we have the next previous track and volume up and down buttons on the right ear cup though <clears throat> I would have thought it would be easier to work if the next previous track were on the left hand side and the volume up and down on the right that would be easier to distinguish and work with or else even if the buttons were raised more tactile and spread out not rubbing shoulders as they do it would be a lot better clubbing all the buttons together makes it very difficult to work with them so many times i accidentally pushed the next track button when i really wanted to increase the volume i hit the volume up button when i really wanted to decrease the volume with the the head uh, you know headset on that is the call quality is pretty average although uh, you wouldn't face no issues hearing the other person. The other person would want you to repeat certain words, certain sentences because of lack of clarity and few audio breaks. Now let's talk about the uh, audio quality again. Although the audio is crisp with the bass quite reasonably set and the max volume can be cranked up very high, the frequencies, uh, the frequencies are not properly balanced. Many times I've found myself frowning when some frequencies felt very shrill and sharp and really irritated me. Although the sound is crisp and clear, it felt it should be more smoother and pleasant, which it wasn't. I'm sorry to disappoint, uh, disappoint you viewers. I know I'm uh, going against the general consensus, but I'm here to speak the truth and nothing but the truth and give you an unbiased opinion. Am I right? <coughs> Just because the uh, Boat Rockers 510 gives about 9 hours or even more of battery backup at about 80% volume, just because the Boat Rockers 510 has a gold plated 1 meter long aux cable, which can be used when the battery is completely exhausted. 
I'm not going to be impressed. I had no issue with the Bluetooth distance and the range easily touches 20 to 25 feet. The gadget uses the latest BT 4.1 or the Bluetooth 4.1 technology and easily pairs with any BT or Bluetooth device. But sadly it failed to impress me on the audio part. Having paid $18.99 for it which can't be refunded by Amazon as per their policy can only be exchanged. I feel sad. I wish I had not made a purchase. Guys, I found, uh, I hope you found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.